In one of our training sessions on reporting and analytics with Power BI, one of the participants asked, how can I format columns separately? So you know that on a table visual in Power BI, it's possible that you have a number of columns, maybe three, five, ten columns, depending on um, what you're visualizing on that table. So the participant inquired, is it possible that one of the total values, I don't want it to be shown, I want to hide it, how can I get to do that within Power BI? When he asked the question, then we felt that, okay, why don't we just make a video on this? Because this might be a challenge that a couple of people out there, they are, they are experiencing and they would want a solution to. And that's what um, informed this video. Quickly come to my field spin and populate some fields here. So I'm adding my revenue. I want to add my quantity sold. So I'll pull that here, my quantity sold. And then I want to add my discount. So let me see where is my total discount. Uh, okay, total discount is here. So I'll have that to my visual. Okay, so I have this total discount. Um, okay, so this is what we have. We have our revenue, our region, and then the region is being visualized by revenue. How much did we, how much did we realize from each of the regions? How much quantity did you sell in each of the regions and what is the, the discount we realized from each of the regions? Um, so now the question was, what if I want to apply specific formatting to columns? For instance, the person inquired, I don't want to visualize this total discount amount. I want this off. How can I take care of that? The very first thing to do is to note, if I come here to the format pane and I come down to the totals, so you see we have totals here, and I say that it should not show totals, this would take off all the total values and that would not solve the situation. So I'm going to return this, but how then do I manage this so that I'm able to just take off a single total and not all the total values? So what I'll do instead is to come to just right under the totals, I have specific column and this is where the power is. So specific column allows you access to individual columns within your table. So if I expand on this now it says apply settings to what what do you want to apply settings to is it the region column or a different column so i will click on this drop down and i will select total discount that's what i want to apply settings to and now a few other things what do i want to apply settings to is it to the totals or is it to the values or the headers. So I want to apply the settings to the total for now. I'll switch up the headers. And now what do I want to do? If we look at this carefully, you will see that we don't have an option to hide the total values here. But what we can do is to come to the text color and then I'll just make this a white. Once I turn this to a white, you see that that goes off. The value is still there really. So if I hover my mouse on it, you say the body is still there, but it's not visually represented, and that's what you want to achieve. So that's that's been achieved. It's still there, but we have taken it off. So the same setting is applicable to the matrix visual. So if I turn to the matrix visual now and I add a few data points here, so let me add um, I will be adding the revenue as well, I would add the total discount and um, probably let me put the profit and um, I would maybe I'll leave it on this 
And another thing you may want to do here is to use what we call pre-attentive attributes. So this is this is something that is pretty much important to understand when it comes to visualization and you, you really want to pay attention to it. And what it does on a summary level is that it allows you call your audience's attention to certain part of your visuals or your report. You don't want them to be looking at all the numbers. You want to call their attention to specific part of your visual. And so what you want to do is, assuming the most important thing in this report is this is the profit. The profit column is the most important thing. So what you can do is to, so uh, let me use the measure instead. So I'm going to use the measure instead. So what you would want to do is that you can come here to specific columns again and say that you want to apply the settings to the total profit. Remember, you select the column you want to apply the setting to and where or how do you want to apply the setting? We don't want to apply it to subtotals, so we do only do want to apply it to the values. And what we want is that we want to give it a background field. So I'll just click on this and I'll select this field for the background. So I'll select this field for the background. That seems to be too dark. So maybe I'll make it something like this so that it's, it's pretty light. And the essence is just that we want our audience's attention to be called to certain part of the visual, which is the total profit in this case. So essentially is the power of the specific column is that it opens up possibilities to work with certain columns within your visual. So you want to format something differently on your visual, it allows you access to it and it just makes it possible to format that single column rather than altering the entire formatting of all your visuals. I hope you found this helpful. Let's stay tuned and we'll be getting more of this release.